All right, good morning. Bit of a chilled out start this morning. A little bit of a sleep in. Had a wander around the back and not really any ledges I want to fish. Um, I could fish in front, but I think I'm just going to save it. And we're going, I'll show you where I'm pointing, to the mainland over there. So the guys are going to drop me with the boat over there and I'm going to camp there tonight and just explore from there for the next couple of days. So that's what the plan is. Pack down the tent swim across to the boat which is still where it's meant to be and um, continue from there the guys are making their way to the boat I went uh, first last time this time I gotta sit back and uh, look after the gear and test the waters for me Three of us. Three-way tangle coming up. Hopefully not. Stay over this side of the boat, mate. Yes, nanny. Oh, pulled hooks right at the boat. No, go back down. That was a big nanny too. Oh, sure. Yeah, it was like this big. <laughs> it was definitely a nanny. It was probably like a fifty. Uh, we finally arrived at my drop-off location. Took a little while, we just kept on finding good ground and kept on pulling nannies. The other guys did anyway. I bloody dropped one at the boat and got nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna sort myself out and paddle ashore somewhere here. And this is gonna be my base for the next couple of days. So I was just getting ready to jump in a pot of dolphins have come to join us. And there was a oh, seal as a well. Seal. Yeah, he's at the back. There's a seal just out the back, yeah, dolphins here, here. Very cool. Nearly. Nearly. There we go. Yeah, you too. Thanks heaps. Nice to meet you both. 
and I'm sure we'll see you around. Sick spot. So good. Just gonna find somewhere and pitch my tent soon. All right, so first things first, carted everything up here. I found a little flat spot. I'm just going to pitch my tent, throw a few things in there so it doesn't blow away. It's not going to be that windy, so I won't guide down that hard. And um, we need to catch dinner because I left all the fish on the boat. I didn't really feel like bringing anything ashore from there. Kind of felt like cheating a bit, so get the full experience and we will catch our dinner from the land out of the ocean from the land you know what i mean um and i forgot to say on the last video i mentioned briefly that I ticked over a hundred thousand subscribers i forgot to say thank you to everyone that has subscribed and watches my videos uh never really thought i'd get that far when i first started but it's happened so let's keep it going anyway cheers guys and Let's go catch some fish, I reckon. We'll pitch a tent and catch some fish. Oh, look at that. It's so wet at the moment from that paddle in. I might just give it a quick squeeze. Otherwise, I'm just gonna get drenched. And I'm wearing a jumper because I think I left my only t-shirt on the boat. I thought I'd brought more than one t-shirt and then I never saw another one, so I must have left the others in my car. Um, that out. And then, sorry, hopefully this all dries up. It should eventually. And then, yeah, my only T-shirt. I took it off, and I thought I threw it in one of my bags before I left. But like one of my bags that I was bringing over here. But I must have left it on the boat somewhere. Oh well, we'll be right. We got a jumper. We got a raincoat. And I got a down jacket too. So we'll make do. We'll be warm enough. Might just suck when it gets hot and sunny and I want to hike. Such a nice arvo. So um, we've got a bit of bait on. We'll lob it in here and we will see. It looks very snaggy ground uh, but it also looks pretty good for holding fish so have to give it a shot nice harlow pen or break seat for dinner would be good hopefully not just ras but I can eat ras if I have to I need something for dinner I think I had a fish on just sitting on it. It's either a rat or a break sea cod, I'd say. So we got a rat. All right, so what are we doing? Oh, a big griper just followed it in too. Far out. I'm going to keep him. Um, that might be our dinner, we'll see. So, because I've got burly here, I literally just saw the skippy. There's a salmon. The salmon's there and the skippy are like right coming in. Right in. See if I can see him again, sight casting. Oh, I'll just go out there. Should be able to catch something now. If I get a salmon, I'm gonna bend my hooks. I'll just back that a bit. Yep, got something. What do we got? Herring, I think. That's all right. If I can land it, I'll keep it. 
something chased it in, a salmon just chased it in. That's all right. I have a bit of fun fishing around here at least, won't I? Uh, so I rate these guys if they hold still. Keep him for food. Would like a skippy, that'd be ideal. I definitely saw them come right in before. Coming right in. Yep, got something. What's that? Huh. Some fish I don't want, there's a salmon on it now. This is a Western Rock Blackfish. Far out catching all sorts today. Western Rock Blackfish, I'm pretty sure I left my pliers in my tent. Skippy. No, another one. And the salmon's on it again. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, Skippy are over there now, I just saw them. Swell's coming up a bit. So another herring. I don't know. I'd probably prefer to eat herring than wrasse. If I have a choice. All right, that's it for the fishing. Better bail before um, it gets too late and we'll head back to camp, which is to kick back that way over the hill a little bit and um, cook up some dinner. We just end up with herring, two herring and one wrasse. Um, yeah, anyway, at least I got fish, eh? It's all good. I mean, I probably could have caught a groper if I really tried, but it's just too much. I don't need a groper. So I only need enough for one night. All right, we're back at camp. So nice and still here. I'm just going to, I've just put a little hook on my bait rig and I'm gonna cast it out. Sorry, just hearing noises. I'm just gonna cast it out in one of the sand patches and we will see if we can get a King George Whiting out of there. And in the meanwhile, I'm going to fill up the fish and get them ready. Uh, wouldn't be surprised if I end up with another wrasse on there, to be honest. That's perfect. I might just scale them so that I don't have to deal with filleting it, uh, deal with skinning them. We're just going to scale them. Should be right. I've never eaten grass with uh, skin on. Let me find out what it's like in a sec. One fillet. And the amount of Western Rock Blackfish I chucked back, I could have been feasting, but I really am not a fan of eating them before. The flesh is a bit grey, in my opinion. Maybe the flesh on this doesn't look that fabulous either, but I still like them. make our way down there and give these a rinse.
what I'm doing tonight is a, um, this I think is a Korma curry again. I've done it before, but now I've got some um, freeze dried stuff to go. I've got a bit of freeze dried rice, which means it is extremely light. That's 150 grams. Just gonna chuck some in here. I'm just going to co cold soak it in water while I cook and then I'll add it to the meal afterwards. It does tell me instructions how to do it for the whole packet where you just add hot or cold water to the whole packet, but I'm going to keep that for another another meal. Otherwise, I think it's too much for me. Bit of oil. Forma. Can't burn the cardboard yet because it's got my instructions on it. Spices. Although I think I know what I'm doing now. I think I've done enough. Whole lot of fish. It actually looks pretty good, the wrap. It's a bit soft, um, a little bit soft and sloppy, but nice white flesh. I'll let that cook fairly well, and then we're gonna add this sauce, and then I'll show you what else we're gonna add after that. Simmering away now, I've added the coconut cream that was in this silver packet thing. Now, this is my little secret ingredient got freeze-dried broccoli. Um, I've always wanted to be able to find this stuff freeze-dried and only just recently came across someone that does it, Tampa's Pantry. The instructions tell me to boil water, add this and then drain. I don't like instructions, so I probably won't get the same texture. But I just want to get in there, we'll probably add a little bit of water and let it simmer and soak up the flavour. Um, and I've got some peas as well, I might as well chuck some of them in there. Oh, I'm just getting hammered by that smoke at the moment. Yeah, canvas pantry, freeze dried peas. Probably a tasty little snack. Could mm. be better in here. Just a bit of fish. That was a bit of rasp. Flavour's good, like I've said before, texture, just a little bit mushy. But um, if you're in a survival situation, you'd be pretty stoked on it. Not a bad view to wake up to. Not a bad view at all. We'll get up, we'll get ready, and we'll go fishing. I'm only on take. The medium outfit this time. Except I'm gonna swap that hook out once I get there. Um, yeah, I just can't be bothered dealing with multiple rigs and stuff. I don't think I have a big weather window this morning. I should have really got moving a bit earlier, but let's get it down there as quick as we can and see if we can catch some fish. It's pretty, pretty beautiful, really, out here. Amazing. Let's hope I don't get any rain. That'd be nice. I'd put a little bit of a dampener on it, but still a beautiful place. Big drum. We have a huntsman spider on it. It's lovely. And holes in the bottom. <coughs> and some very heavy duty rope. Shipping rope? Surely that's just shipping rope. There's a big loop there. Just blast joint. It's not fall over on it. Anyway, here's a cool little spot too. 
Uh, we're almost there, finally. Just gonna wander out on this thing and fish from that. You wouldn't do it in a big swell though. Here. I'm just not catching anything at all. I caught one ras which I'm keeping as bait. Used that as bait, nothing was interested. Tried a bit of crab, didn't get a groper. I don't really want to catch a groper so I don't want to keep on trying. So yeah, bit of a disappointing morning but beautiful spot at least. The fish just don't seem to uh, want to play the game for me at the moment. I'm going to start heading back. Is that rock that I need to jump on? He's sitting underwater now. Right, I'm going. Don't look back, let's go. Alright, cool. There was some quite large ones coming through before that. Done. So I just get back to camp and um, there's a pot of dolphins right here. Probably the same ones that were hanging around yesterday. I'm tempted to jump in with them. I might grab a mask and just dive in for a quick little look. Jab packs full of raw abalone here. Have a look. That's why I'm eating for dinner, I reckon. Can't catch a fish, I got abalone. If I had a white belt and some fins or something. Anyway, they're pretty good size for raw abalone. a few hours I've just been hiding in the tent because a few showers have come through so I've just been chilling out we're just kind of wander down in the corner here and cook up some dinner bit of an uneventful day well actually that's not true the dolphins were very cool uh, it would have been nice to catch a proper fish but Sometimes that just happens, I guess.
So now, I should have had this going before. I'm gonna boil some water quickly. And do the broccoli with it. Get that boiling. That did not take long at all. So now we're gonna do the swap. We'll put that there. We're gonna put some peas in quickly. Eat your veggies, kids. It's important. It's so important you freeze dry stuff and carry it out with you if you have to. Give that a stir with my abalone knife. Just there. I'll just leave that to sit while this is probably ready. Doing things quickly now. Might boost this a little. There we go. Gee, God, it's getting dark so quick. Pretty good. Right, I'm calling them done. Probably scoop a bit of the fat off. I'm a bit nervous to drain it in case I just tip all my abalone on the sand. So we'll just do this. Just need like a garlic cheesy sauce to go with it. I'll just tip it over the edge. Might be able to strain it properly. dig in a bit. Let's try that abalone. There you go. Doesn't look that appealing but I know it's good. So good. I saw my shadow just then. I thought I saw a feral cat the other day. I was like don't tell me. Anyway. Mm-hmm. That's how abalone should be. Super tender. Yeah. Broccoli is pretty good too. It's nice to be able to have veggies out here and not worry about them going off. Peas are good. Looking just like a creamy garlic sauce over it. I might do that at home actually. Might see if I can come up with something. Even do it out here in the field. Just to pour over the veggies and that would be amazing. Fit in very well with it all. Anyway, sorry about the uneventful day. I um, tried to catch fish and it just wasn't happening for me. Uh, it's just like that sometimes I guess. So that's fishing for you. So the weather has absolutely turned to crap as I knew it would and probably by tomorrow Arvo will start coming good again so I might have a quiet start tomorrow morning um, thanks for watching as always and see you on the next one hopefully it's a bit more eventful <laughs>